Hi, I'm ZB from Zblab. Welcome to my workshop. Today we will talk about fiber engraving machines. I will also show you how to make a special device that will help you unlock the hidden capabilities of your machines, such as the effect of opalescent color on stainless steel. Metal laser engravers in recent years have become more available in price and thus very popular among hobbyists. They'll allow you to apply logos or decorative patterns to the surface of each metal and some other materials permanently, or even make complicated 3D bus reliefs. The key issue for obtaining a good engraving result is the selection of parameters power, frequency, speed and hedge density. Certainly you have performed the grid test many times and you know how different effects can be obtained on the same material by changing even one of the parameters gently. Few people know, however, that very interesting effects can be obtained when engraved object is beyond the lens focal point. Now I will show you how to lifting and lowering the galvo head affects the engraving effect obtained on a piece of stainless steel. The parameters with which I make test engraving can be found in the description under the video. Remember that each machine is different and the effect you get can be completely different. Treat them only as a starting point. You may be able to find another interesting effect. Be sure to share them in the comments. I made engravings with the same parameters. The only thing I change every time is that I lift and lower the head every point 20 mm outside the focal point. The results that will be shown here are easy to get if you have a machine equipped with a Galvo head raising with a stepper motor. Cheaper machines, however, do not have such a function and the head is raised and lowered with a crank. Obtaining repetitive results is very difficult in this case because we have no control over the exact position of the head relative to the focal point. I have developed a simple device that allows you to determine the position of the head very accurately using dial indicator mounted on the head column. Dial holder has been milled from polycarbonate but it can be printed as well on a 3D printer I put the link to the STL model in the video description. The second needed element is a dial indicator. It can be easily bought online. Mine was produced about 40 years ago in Czechoslovakia and still works great. How to use the device? It is easy. We slide it on the dismantled column cover. We put dial indicator in the hole. The device should move along the column with a slight resistance. It should not slide under its own weight because this will cause the indications to be falsified. We set Galvo head in the focal point. Then we set the dial indicator so that it indicates half of the indicator stroke. In my case dial indicator has a stroke equal to 10 mm so I set it so that it indicates 5 mm. This is our starting point. I'm making subsequent engravings each time I'm lifting and lowering the galvo head with a fixed stroke. For me it is 0.20 mm. Note how the values show by dial indicator changed and how it affects the engraving process. We see clearly that the engraving of the individual fields differs significantly, despite the fact that the engraving parameters were the same. Only the height of the galvo head above the material is changed. Here's how the appearance of engraving changes depending on the position of the head. We see clearly that the fields change color from dark grey in rows E and F through the light grey in rows D and G through the effect of polished metal in rows C and H up to the opalization in rows B and I. Pay attention to the fact that the fields with the same movement values relative to focal point looks very similar. Both when lowering and raising the head was, which proves the correct focal point of the base location head. Based on the sample made, we can now easily repeat the engraving result that we consider to be the most suitable for us. I choose the plus 3.40 mm variant of the focal point difference due to the opalescent effect obtained there. That's it for today. Write in the comments whether you use the knowledge acquired while watching this video. Take a look at ZBLab Instagram where I post photos of various of my projects. Your activity there gives me energy to work on tutorials and sharing my experience by creating YouTube videos like this.